why we're putting tags on the shirts ever a thing? Why was that something that needed to be done? They're super annoying. I find myself ripping them off or cutting them off on every single shirt that I have at some time or another. Right now, the one that I'm wearing, I still have the tag on. But why is that a thing? Like, I get that it shows the size and I get that it shows the washing instructions. But let's be honest, most t-shirts, most clothes for that matter, nowadays, certainly, can be washed on mostly the same settings. Yeah, you're gonna still separate your colors from your whites, from your delicates. But even then, like, they're all, all the colors are washed in the same setting. All the whites are washed in the same setting. Like, why do we gotta be putting tags in our shirts still? Maybe at some time they served a purpose that's beyond me, but uh, as far as I know, the only purpose they serve is scratching your neck. And yeah, they make tags now that are much softer and, and sleeker. Um, and they obviously they make tagless clothes, so why, why hasn't every company figured out the process to making tagless clothes? Tell you what, I'm sure glad Haynes figured out the tagless boxers, tagless, tagless boxer briefs. My personal undergarment of choice. Haynes boxer briefs and a fruit of the loom undershirt. Don't ask me why that's the way it's been since I was 13 years old, and that's how it's always going to be. Because consistency. Um. But before that, I mean, boy, oh boy, tagged underwear was super annoying. <laughs> like, I was I was too young at the time to really understand how annoying it was, but now that I think back on it, it was super annoying. You always end up with these little red lines right at the back of your waist because the tag had been rubbing on you all day. No thank you. No thank you. I mean, the reason I bring this up is because I have a tag on this t-shirt still today, and uh, it was it was sticking up when I got in the car, when I put my seatbelt on and turned my neck, and I was like, oh, a little, a little something papery back there. It's not even one of those soft ones, it's the papery ones. Like, you can print on the inside of the shirt, on the same way you print on the outside of the shirt. You can print on the inside of the shirt what the size is, and you can even print the washing instructions. Now, yeah, it might come off after a while, but if it's been that long, you know how to wash the shirt. Right? Tags, tags are just, they're pointless. Even shopping centers are getting away from using tags. It used to be that you would have a price tag on all the clothes. Now it's just printed on the product itself or on a little sticker that sticks to the clothes and then you just rip it off, which I guess is still technically a tag because it's been tagged onto whatever item it is you're buying. But anything that comes in a case or a box or a container, that's all just printed on there. Like you have the UPC code and then like directly underneath it, you have the price printed on the code. <laughs> I like it. I like it. But that's the other thing. Like, for clothes, when I... I was really, really, really a weird voice. Sorry. But that is the other thing. When you buy a set of clothes, specifically a t-shirt, it's not only got the tag in the back of the collar, but it's also got the price tag with that little annoying clear plastic stringy mabob, which has the size of the item, some kind of care instruction most of the time, and the price. So did you just forget after you bought the shirt and took the tag off, did you just forget what size it was and how to wash it correctly? Maybe that's why the tag is still on there. I don't know. What's the origin of the shirt tag? I'll probably look that up today or this weekend. 
It's Friday, by the way, which is a good thing. Very good thing. It's been a long week. <sighs> Tags. Tags. I was going to talk about the different meanings of the word tag, but then I realized that they're all pretty much the same thing, whether it's the noun, something that has been uh, attached to something else, or the verb to tag, which essentially is to attach something to something else. Like when you play tag on the playground, you're attaching yourself to a person for a temporary amount of time. They've therefore been tagged. I'd be interested to know what the origin of that game was. Why they decided to call it Tag. Excuse me. Just like Ring Around the Rosie, that's, you know, there's the origin of that is the, is the plague. Or something along those lines. Like, it had something to do with some illness. London Bridge? Obviously, origin is London Bridge is falling down. Um... A lot of these kids' games and, and movies and, and stories originate from some medieval grossness or, or at least mid-century strangeness. Mid-century? Mid-millennia. Have I told you much about how... Blech! Have I told you about how much I hate semi-trucks? Because I do. That's a thing that I don't like. Semi-trucks. Just swooping in and out. Carrying stuff that doesn't need to be carried. <laughs> I know we talked about this. It was a joke. But anyway. Tags on shirts. Dumb. Tags on pants. Uber dumb. Uber? Somewhat of an innovation. See you this afternoon.